What's up, everybody? This is Haley, and we got more Have a Nice Death here. This is still the fast food update. I've been really being, I've been really enjoying the update, and I know I showed a couple videos from my stream, but I also wanted to record some and uh, have some fun with it that way. There's a few things I still need to unlock here, but uh, they're kind of expensive, and I'll probably need those ingots in the future, so. We are still on crisis number three, so here's the difficulty. And I'm going to try to see the new biome again, which means we have to complete the first world in under five minutes, which definitely is not easy, I gotta say. Let us see. So I think I'll take the free equipment from the contract. Ooh, what's this one? Minus 20 max health, but I get a scythe upgrade, I think. That's kind of interesting. I've never seen that one offered. And there's no other conditions. I mean, minus max health is kind of scary, but let's try it out. Be two Thanaters in under 10 minutes. Plus 20 max health now. If I lose, I take 20. Oh, this one's like, oh, but I take 10. This one's only plus 30 max health. 100 enemies in under 10 minutes. So that's kind of scary because I want to get to the new biome and I probably can't go around killing every single enemy uh, if I want to see the new biome. Two Thanaters in under 10. That's kind of reasonable though. Let's go for that. So my max health kind of evens out, right? From what I can tell. It do. And I have a scythe upgrade and I have some kind of spell. It might be makeshift rockets, I think, from what I can tell. But yeah, like, this game's really shaping up to be something great. I mean, it's already very, very good, just to be clear. Uh, well worth the price. It's, like, not even a, the full $15 right now. And I like the directions they're going. Not everyone is into... It, it's still very difficult. Even the base game, you know, they didn't really ease up on that. Sorry, we have to go fast. We can't afford to kill any enemies. We have to fight the mini-boss. I'm not used to this. Scythe is the only thing. I'm hoping to get a, a larger variety of weapons soon. They only added a handful to this update. I'm hoping we get a few more than that. This does seem like I, I tend to see the same ones over and over a little bit. Okay. Okay, that was pretty good with makeshift rockets, I'd say. Oh, we didn't get hit. Goodbye, my friend. I tend to struggle on that thing. Cloak Swish launches an axe. Poison lasts two additional seconds, gain plus five max mana. These are all very bad. <laughs> thing is, we don't have poison, so I obviously can't take that. This is only for cloaks. I think we take a crummy plus five max mana to try to get further down the green tree faster, basically. Maybe that's wrong, though. I don't know. I'm gonna go with Solary here. It was still pretty fast, though. I think I'm pleased with the time of that, at least. Oh no, don't fall. <laughs> All right. I'm just, we just gotta go, you know? No time. The timer is actually very tough to make. Ooh, really? Okay, we got the soul. Some of these enemies die in one hit, so that's pretty decent at least. Not most of them, though. Well. All right, not bad. I think we go Vault here over Equipment. I think the Makeshift Rocks are a decent spell, so upgrading them might work out if I went down the spell route. Usually, I, I kind of prioritize Equipment, but if you wind up with, like, two spells, it's usually not a big deal, unless one of them is, like, the most ideal spell possible, really, I guess. All right, very smooth. Still not going to use the anima in case we see a wall. Termination gain 0.5% mana regen. Is that permanent? 
Because it's such a small amount. So am I gonna keep, like, building up more and more mana regen? If I understand that correctly? I might try killing, like, some small enemies when we can, then. Okay, definitely in the Prismium, I think, here. We're making good time. A lot of people ask me, like, what's this game like? It's kind of like, oh, I mean, there's a lot of games that look similar to it, for sure. At least in terms of the style. The actual, like, gameplay style, you know? It plays a little bit like Hollow Knight, maybe? Only a little bit, but the format is more Dead Cells-y. Because, of course, it's a roguelike. Okay... Is that it? Wow, not bad. Okay, let's go. There's a Prismium. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I'm noticing the mana regen thing. It doesn't seem to be a temporary buff. Because I'm not gaining anything. From that. Shop at 329. I'm, lo I'm looking at the timer on the top right during the elevator scene there. It's actually really fast. Alright, I don't have anything to recycle at the well here. Buy another Prismium. I'm one short. Your heal. Eh. Frost Breeze, I don't love. One short of buying that Prismium. I probably would have bought it too if I could have. I think it would have made sense. Alright, pretty good uh, time to beat Brad here. I don't think we'll have a problem. We have our super up. I think we want to use the Matrix Rocket Super, I think. All right, Brad, let us go to the toxic food waste place or whatever. Okay. Oh, I dashed wrong way. Okay, then I panicked. Really? Okay, that was pretty good, I'd say. Dang, he hits hard, too, huh? I'm gonna heal there, actually, too. I kind of missed with those. Okay. Oh, no, those, like, all missed. You gotta be kidding. And he used up my mana. Gotta be careful of that. This is taking a very long time now. Oh, I thought you'd be dead, Brad. Oof, that took so long. I think the supers just didn't really work well. I never even stunned them. That was a bit... That was a bit rough. Was a bit tough. Hmm. Into your shop grants you a heal of ten. Terminate regenerates twenty-five mana. In counter party, deals bonus damage after being hit. You may take the heal. I wonder if that's a pure heal. I don't know. It's pretty weak, actually, to be quite honest. What time did we make? I don't know. It doesn't say since we have the in-between. I don't know if the in-between area here, like if the timer's still going or not. Let's spend damage and I'll buy an anima. Thank you. 508. So we made it apparently. I don't know what time you actually need here. Maybe it's under six minutes. I thought it was under five. Maybe it's five and a half. Maybe it's six. Not sure. Alright, now we can take it a little bit easier. I can actually sit here and kill some enemies and stuff. Potentially earn some things from it. Because enemies do drop stuff for us. Things that we could use. Soul, etc. Okay. It's a big burger. Okay, we're fine. I love the theming for this zone. Like, so many new enemies and stuff. You know, they're all very unique. 
They really went all out when it comes to that kind of stuff. All right, I think the milkshake explodes after we kill it, so I gotta be careful of that. Yeah, I dropped some projectiles after. Okay. Hmm. Build a little straw or whatever that is. Ooh, nice. Some good animas here. I gotta keep an eye out for our secret doors now. There we go. Give me that money. Which way? Left or down? Let's check out over here first, I guess. Alright, looking good. I like this down attack, actually. I'll be honest, the charge attacks, I never use them. Like, ever. It just feels like it's a, a pretty big investment, honestly. Relaxation area. I have been to one of these before. In all, it's like, like a pure heal for 25 and that's it. It's very minor. There might be some lore there because there seems to be the, the special character. But it was such a small thing. Like I was expecting like a full heal maybe, but maybe I was expecting too much. I don't know. It definitely seems like the game is trying to incentivize playing it quickly a lot. Between the contracts and now actually making it to this zone in the timer. Okay. All right, fire another rocket. I got slowed. Oh, did I get eaten? No, I did not. Not the burglar. All right, oh, I wasted an anima. Oh, whoops. Should have used one before I picked that up. That was a waste. Maybe I should just use one now in case. I don't know. I'm going to use it. I don't even know if it heals for the full amount or not that I'm missing. Trying to explain the healing system in this game is very difficult. I think the part of the problem is they... The game, like, needs, a, like, a... A glossary. And it probably has one, to be honest. But... It, it's actually kind of hard to memorize all the different terminologies that they have for all the different things in the game. Anima is a healing potion. Ooh, controller, nice. Anima is a healing potion. Uh, a curse is a skill upgrade. A penalty is a negative one. A contract is something you take at the start of the run as a bonus. You know, a cloak is a cooldown move. A spell is a one that uses mana, blah, 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 blah. All right. Makeshift rockets go big. Could do big scythe. That's just such a massive increase in damage here. And I always do much better with these, honestly. I could use a pick-me-up. Adds another projectile. Well, we already did that. Adds another explosion. Let's try that out. I don't know if I've ever maxed out the rockets or not. All right, now let's get a secondary piece of equipment, I think. We do mostly just want mana stuff. You know, mana return and things of that nature. Also has like, whoa, what was that? Oh, so it fires behind too, sweet. Kind of sweet, I guess. Okay. That hit me? I'm not sure. Might have. Where am I? Found it. All right, another golden anima. I feel like I should probably just use one now before I accidentally pick one up and have it be wasted. My health's kind of low anyway. I don't think there's really much downside there. The only downside that could possibly be is if I see a secret area and then feels like I could have used it for that instead, you know? All right, I'm not using my supers right now. It just doesn't seem totally necessary at the moment. We're actually very strong for where we are, I'd say. Ooh, nice. Plus mana is always good for us. All right, away we go. Mortison. It's pretty terrible. Inflicts injuries, but grants temporary bonus damage. 
Yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know how I'd make good use of that. All right, let's go to the Thanager's office again, I guess. We need those. I don't even need, like, Prismium and Souls that much anymore. I need, um, skill upgrades, which, which means all the Thanagers potentially here. Okay. See how we do here. Ah, Candace, we know. She got moved to this biome. One, two, usually three or so. That's worth it. Very worth it, I'd say. Wait a sec. Oh! Didn't expect her to get me like that. Ugh! Candace, why? Candace, fast. Apparently, we did it. I don't even remember what the contract was, to be quite honest. But we did it. <laughs> Gain plus 5% chance of dealing backstab. Backstab deals plus 5 damage. What do you mean, give more chances? Or I just take mana regen again. Which is not great. Hmm. You get further down the green tree, though, and that's kind of important, I think. You don't really need the mana regen, it seems. I mean, mana regen just isn't that good, because after you cast a spell, there's always a cooldown to... before... It, the mana starts coming back. And so, de it's like... I need, want to decrease that time, which means just generating flat mana. Okay, I'm just going to sell Mortison because I will never use it. Inflicting damage on myself does not seem wise. Uh, plus max HP. Sure. And a pure heal. Sure. What about a Slaymore? Oh, I can't afford it. Never mind. All right, Waldo. Waldo's a cool fun boss, though. Uh, fought him a couple times now, I think. Excited to see him again. I do have lifesteal on still right now. Come as you are, as you were, and grab something to eat. Just don't think too hard about what's in the meat. Isn't that a Nirvana song to some degree? No, we're going to have to cut the music slogan budget. It's just not working. Death burgers, it says in the background. All right, my super is actually not built up here. Okay, now it is. That was fast. I hope. Oh, why isn't that working? Okay, that's not actually what I expected. Dash through that. All right, watch out for this junk. I don't even know what it is. Oh, okay, I tried to get through. Okay, I'm gonna use it again here. Probably overkill. I'm very overkill. Oh god. I dreamed a a dream of pizza pie, greasy burgers, oily filling. I dreamed of crispy, salty fries. Spectacular, simply spectacular. I don't know what's with the highlighted text there. Uh, to be honest, is that like a hint at something? Probably not, but. Plus 50% mana regen. Oh, come on. Temporarily inflict plus 25 damage upon consuming an anima. It's really not very good. Plus 5% plus chance of dealing pierce. But what does pierce mean exactly? Alright, more mana regen. My gosh. I think they got to cut back on the mana regen stuff and more max mana things and just have more differentiated. They added like 50 plus curses to the tree, supposedly. That's an insane amount. All right. I probably don't refill the fridge or anything. I'm going to gamble on our crappy little anima just for fun. Oh, I got a golden anima. Never punished. Uh, Let's see. So we want green curses. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe you don't take green curses until you get to upgrade them via the zone you pick. Maybe. 
That it kind of depends how many curses you're you're able to get to some degree, I think, right? Okay. Boom. Bum. Bum ba dum. Hello, cast a spell, please. Let's cast it. See how we do with that. My god, these enemies just like got a lot beefier a lot faster, it seems. Really short cooldown on that. I don't know why I jumped upwards. Really short cooldown and makeshift rockets, which can be good. So that'll nullify one penalty. Not the best thing, I think. Let me up. All right, okay. Cooper's up. Okay, that's good. I really need mana return and or damage. I don't mean mana regen. I mean mana return, which would basically equate to damage. So there's one where... Come on. When you hit an enemy, you just get mana back. Just like a flat amount. And it's not even a small amount. So if we're able to get that, things will be going smooth. All right, we'll go for max mana, I guess, here. And health, too. Dun, 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 dun. All right, the okay, my ultimate's built, so it seems like a pretty good time for that. But we have many enemies. Okay, and then I slowly kill what's left here. My gosh, you will not die. Another anti penalty. Plus max health. I'm gonna leave you alone. I think the other thing is uh, playing the game like so slowly. As a content creator, I think I do tell myself like, oh, I'm going too slow, the video's too long, that kind of thing. So I kind of wind up playing fast for that purpose. But also, I think I kind of just like playing that way, to be honest. It's kind of just, uh, it feels better. Infuse regenerates 10 mana. That's the one. Death Priest, baby. So when I attack, this includes when I cast a spell, I get 10 mana back. So we should be doing pretty good now. So I can nullify these, right? It doesn't nullify the curse, right? It shouldn't. All right, so now I can cast way more quickly and often. That should be pretty good. There might be other spells we could try to get to... That would work better than the rockets here, honestly. Because the rockets are kind of mediocre, probably. They're not bad, as you can see. Woo! Let's go, baby. This is pretty much how you want all the spell builds to go. It might seem kind of boring. But it feels dang good. I haven't had many good cloak builds, and I've had even fewer scythe builds work out, I'd say. Definitely the HR office still, I think. <laughs> I think um, balance is still something the game could use. It could still use some balancing. Supposedly they changed a few things. I think they made the bosses harder in general. Like they hit harder uh, quite often. It definitely feels like a game of find a broken build and abuse it for a lot of the, the my, for my successful runs, I should say. Whereas budget builds, like, don't happen that often, at least when I play. Ooh, that was close, Dan. Hey! Oh, I actually ran out of mana. But even when I hit with my scythe, I can get the mana back. And alrighty. I can still die, that's for sure. All right, what do you got for me? Termination regenerates plus 25 mana. That's pretty good. That's useless. Survive all fatal attacks as long as you have more than one health point. That might be really good. Do I want the defense? I think I want the defense. I can nullify this penalty too, unless one of them is okay. Shot price increase with each purchase. Yeah, I'll nullify that still. 
Okay. Oh, come on. You hit me. Oh, that's good, though. I just need to find, like, some life steal or something. Ugh. Oh, crap. That thing's protecting them. Are you dead? I think it's dead. Okay, they're dead. Okay. <laughs> I can't really tell. I guess I should just be spamming the spell a little bit harder. That's a reroll for a curse. I think I try to, like, squeeze in other things in between the spells and stuff, but... No need to be fancy, really. All right, Heisenberg, let's go. I think Heisenberg is also one of the newer ones. I don't really have that much damage, so I do need to be careful. Could get murdered. I don't really want to use the golden anima here, though, either. Oh, I thought that hit me. Okay. All right. Looking pretty good. Rockets are working. Oh, okay, this guy. Okay, okay. I do remember them. I don't think they're too bad, really. Okay, you got me once. I'm gonna use the heal. I glanced at my health and it didn't look great. All right, got him. Whew. I can stay really far away, I just realized. I can do pretty well. Got my anima back. Spells deal three damage. I assume it seems three more damage. Each alteration lasts three seconds. Plus three seconds. So I assume it's talking about things like poison, bleed, etc. So that's useless. Deal bonus damage by changing weapons in the middle of a combo. Is this even worth it? I still have three tree upgrades. Three damage is not a lot. I probably gain plus 50% mana regen upon consuming an anima. How long does that last, though? I'm gonna take this in hopes that we find, like, poison or bleed, maybe, somehow. Because I just feel like the other ones just are not really worth it. Oh, I got another anima, apparently. Alrighty. Ah, <sighs> Prismium, Prismium. I don't see Prismium doing a whole lot for us anymore. Still only have the one spell, so I guess I'll go this way. I still never remember what I get out of these. I've even told myself to pay attention, but I can't. All right, I'm paying attention this time, though. What are my rewards from this? Let's find out. And also, what what is different about this floor? I think I just use that anima now. Okay. Go rockets. That's fine. So what am I doing exactly? I'm really just casting the rockets every now and Some of these enemies have very high HP though still. So they're not working super effectively. I took a hit there. Seems like if I'm point blank, they tend to work a little bit better, interestingly. Dark Talons? Oh my gosh. Really? You gonna give me that right now? I got soul, and I got a piece of equipment. I'm gonna say the rewards are essentially random. Hmm. What would I upgrade at the shop? It could only be the scythe. I mean, at the control room. I guess I just go shop here. This control room is just not that good for us, I think. All right, let's go this way. I don't have a Prismium, which is too bad. I could spend the Prismium on the shop. I'm gonna sell Dark Talons because it's like absolutely useless. Plus 35 max HP, a pure heal. Did I buy the Sword? The Sword. Could. I think I buy the heal. Sure. Potentially sell it back for not much of a loss, too, if I really wanted. It's a cloak, so if somehow I'm out of mana, or my rockets aren't in a good place here, then it could work out. Alright. This sorrow could be rough for us, because it likes to stay in the air, so having more vertical attacks tends to help. Oh, 
Try to spam it a little bit there. I think I mostly just dodged the attack, to be honest. Now, if I can. Okay, use the thing. Pretty good. And then we stand. Oh, I did not think that that would happen. What the heck does this sword even do? All right, I kind of remember this. I wonder if you can kind of stay in the air here. I don't know. I'm gonna use the use it now. Seems like pretty good timing. Oh, couldn't tell what it was gonna do. Oh, oh no! Use the heal. Very close to death. Oh come on! Nine health. Please come down to the ground. You're not coming down to the ground, are you? Ugh, one health. Are you ever gonna come down? There we go. Chomps me if it reaches me. There we go. I got down to that one health. I got saved by that thing. Chaos, but I'm in charge of addiction. Ooh, that was scary. Give me a way to heal, for the love of God. All right, we can buy an anima. Infuse launches a homing missile. Infuse dashes cooldown, and that's pretty much useless. I guess infuse launch a homing missile. Control room price increase by 15% for next purchase. Yeah, because I doubt that'll really matter much. All right, that was uh, rough, to say the least. I knew it would be tough. I didn't. I should have just been more patient, really, obviously. And just waited for him to come down. Well, not every run will be a win, and hopefully we learn something at the least. I probably buy an anima and maybe refill the food here to see if it'll help me. Gain three animas. Okay, I'd say that's pretty decent for us. One. It only heals me for 15. Maybe I shouldn't have used the last. I don't know. All right, we're already at the final biome. That was actually pretty fast, I gotta say. Bum, 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 bum. I noticed I skipped the... Hmm. I think we skipped the boss. Maybe you just don't have to fight it. The crab guy, right? Mr. Crams? Maybe it just depends on the order. You can, you can choose to skip biomes. I never really noticed. I didn't think you could just do that. I thought it... But they do give you the choice when I think about it. Okay. What's that? Give me it. Temporary max health increase. Use the ultimate. Seems to have worked out. Watch out for the mines. <laughs> that was a pretty cool. Explosion, I'd say. I'm gonna save that anima in case I do see a secret room. I haven't seen, noticed a singular one this run. I probably missed one, honestly. Yeah, we still go here. I feel like offering us curse rerolls in the last biome is pretty, like, they probably shouldn't bother. I don't know. I mean, they give us three options there, so I guess that makes it okay, but I also feel like that's just not a great room reward in general, perhaps. Okay, ultimate is up. Watch out for the missiles. Continue to watch out for them. I'm gonna use this now. Hopefully it'll hit them. It definitely did not. And I took a hit. Two hits, even. Alright, I had to use my anima. Alright, any help? No help. 46 health. Not looking great right now. Okay. Uh, please don't hit me. Ah, I saw the rocket. Scary. Those enemies are very rough. I think I avoided that. Okay, these guys I don't hate as much, honestly. Woo! All right, we got it. 
scary though. All right, I need some help. Give me some animas. Like, oh, come on. I've never had those stupid things hit me, I swear. The ground stuff. Guess I dashed into it. Nothing, huh? Help me. Heal something. Use bleed. I'm gonna roll this in case I get something life saving. Cloak swish spells. Deal plus 100% damage for two seconds. Oh, so when I use. Oh, that's actually kind of interesting. So after I use a cloak, spells deal 100% more damage for two seconds. And I have a cloak. That's actually interesting. But is that better than bleed? You know what? That kind of sounds fun. Let's try it. Might be hard for me to use. Guess that one. Because I probably don't need to go back there. I have a cloak. Longer cooldown, I'd say. I'm going to the shop. I'm skipping the Thanager. I get a small heal from going here, and they'll probably offer me some heals too. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. My max mana is actually very, very low too. I can buy an anima, and I guess I'll hit the wrong button there. <laughs> and I guess I'll buy the plus max mana there. Prismium, probably not. We go for max health and mana, I guess. All right, we'll see how we do here. I'm a little nervous. We might not win the run. We'll do our best. I'll consider it a success if we're able to. Uh, Reach the final boss, I say, at the least. Okay. I can't see the rocket. Okay, I saw it eventually. Okay. Oh, crap. Got it. All right, all right, all right. I was able to use the cloak. It's probably hard for you to see. So the, when I use the cloak, it looks like this. <laughs> and two seconds is not a long time. So it's kind of hard to line it up precisely. But I did try. All right, good. More curse. Termination grants you a heal of plus one. Each stell, steel, stelay. Manage steel containing combat equipment. Grants you a pure heal of plus ten when you destroy one. I doubt we're going to see many more of those. I guess termination grants me a heal. No, we're probably close to done, but still, that will actually help us quite a bit, it looks. I think that gives me like a damage increase or something. Okay. Yeah, we definitely want to try to kill everything now. Hopefully I don't get hit though. Same time. Alright. I think we did okay. Plus max mana. All right. Control room? There's kind of no point. I don't really care about upgrading our scythe or any of that stuff. So I guess Vita Mana again. Plus, this will give me enemies. Control room would obviously be faster, but I don't care about that. Going this way will give us enemies to kill to restore more health, and hopefully we'll live through the boss, you know? Like, this definitely makes more sense. Okay. definitely certain enemies I want to prioritize, and the ones that lay down mines are not a big priority to me. Watch, watch me get hit by one now. Oh, something hit me. I think it might have been a mine. Dang. Okay. Still not bad, though. It's just, it, you know, killing 20 enemies, you know, I all that gets taken away from just one hit from a uh, most enemies here now. It's the only ish. All right. What would you all see? Want, want to see out of the game? I think for me, it's just I want to see uh, a larger variety of uh, spells and cloaks, and maybe scythes and things of that nature, and give us more opportunities to find them and use them. I think. I think right now there there seems to be a decent variety of. Spells spells and cloaks, but you just don't get that many opportunities to find them in a run, so you wind up, like, sticking to one that you might have had at the beginning, like this run here, right? 
You know, I just didn't really find much else. Uh, whoa, something hit me. I wasn't able to find much else in the run, you know? All right, it's boss time. Our health isn't great, I gotta say. Our in game time is actually really good, I gotta say. 27 minutes or so. My quote unquote speedrun was like 25. Kind of surprised at that, actually. All right, Major. Hopefully, I can take you out. Don't let the greed take over, though. I wonder if I use the ultimate. Let's try. Oh, I missed a lot. And then I couldn't see, and I got hit by everything that was possible at that moment, I think. Well, that was incredibly bad, I'll admit. And then I died. I'm so sorry I threw. Uh, he used a move I didn't expect. We didn't get the win. I guess I shouldn't open too strong there or something because you just never know what's going to happen. It's just everything on the ground bonked me. Dang, no Crisis 3 win for us, but it was close at least, huh? All right, everybody. Oh, I meant to look at the main stats. My apologies. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like, comment if you want to see more. Have a nice death and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.